For generations, Americans have enjoyed pursuing wild game, especially white-tailed deer here in Alabama. As time goes by, those populations could decline if new diseases are introduced into the wild populations. Any disease that has a long-term effect on the white-tailed deer population is going to have a negative impact on Alabama residents who enjoy hunting traditions. Chronic waste and disease, known as CWD, is a neurological disease that affects many species of deer. This disease is progressive, and over time it is 100% fatal in deer. The Westervelt Company is, has identified chronic wasting disease as a major threat to our wild deer populations. Our team is committed to being a source of information for not only our customers, but deer hunters across the southeast. Our foundational principle at Westervelt is that we're stewards of the land. But what that means is that we're stewards of everything on the land. So not just the timber or water resources or air or soil, uh, the wildlife too. I view the significance of chronic wasting disease right up there with any other threat uh, potentially to any other component of our forest complex. While there's no ties currently to uh, human health risks and uh, no humans have contracted chronic wasting disease, the perception of human health risk may be enough for hunters to stop deer hunting in areas that are in CWD positive counties. That has a ripple effect through state agencies that uh, rely on hunting licenses of the mom and pop restaurants, uh, your deer processors, taxidermists that uh, rely on that hunting season income. Hunters are the best resource that we have in order to get a wide variety of samples of deer from different areas of the state in order to test them for chronic waste and disease. The Alabama Wildlife and Freshwater Fisheries Division has a variety of freezer drop-off locations around the state. These freezers are sometimes open 24-7 and available for hunters to drop their deer heads. Everything that a hunter needs is waiting right there for them. Bags, pens, and forms to fill out so that we can identify the deer and let the hunter know what the results were of the test. And the Alabama Wildlife and Freshwater Fisheries Division is asking hunters to be sure that they are aware of all the rules that surround chronic waste and disease related issues. Finished taxidermy products are allowed, but the importation of whole deer carcasses is prohibited. And it's important for people to realize that this transportation of deer carcasses, even though the deer is no longer living, can cause an environment to be contaminated with CWD and spread the disease in areas that are currently naive to it. Our Westervelt Hunting Clubs can help keep CWD out of Alabama by partnering with us and your state agency in providing uh, much needed samples that they need for testing purposes to, to reach the state's surveillance goals. And we need those herds that live on our land to be healthy and prosperous. And this disease will wipe them out. So it's a big deal. We're not doing our job as professional land managers if we don't protect that part of our resource. Because we protect every other part of our resource with whatever it takes. And I think we should be doing the same thing with the deer herd. But the state's right there with us and we're happy to be working with them and we support them in every way that we can. If you see a deer that uh, you, you fear is, is possibly sick, uh, you need to contact your state wildlife agency. They have district offices uh, all over the state. Uh, if you happen to be a Westervelt lease customer, please uh, also report that to your Westervelt lease biologist as well so we can make sure it gets addressed.